Hello, everyone. And no, no, we are not keeping the same intro. This is a new chapter. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to my new series, Journey to 30. My name is Angel. My name is Angel, and I turn 29 tomorrow. Now, I know what you're thinking. Girl, that's literally not that big of a deal. Why are you making a whole series on it? And that, my friend, is a great question that I wish I had the answer to. I'm just kidding. I guess I do kind of have the answer to it, and we'll kind of get into it. So I realized within the last couple of years that I have a major flaw. Well, I have a lot. But the major flaw that has been really just overwhelming my brain is the fact that I turned 30 in a year and I have not accomplished anything that I'm proud of. And, you know, I'm sure that sounds dramatic and it is dramatic, but it is quite literally something that I think about every single day. I mentally hold myself back from so much. I owe it to myself to bunker down. I don't know why that's the term I decided to use, but I really think it's time that I bunker down and I at least want to mark five things off of my list. Five. That's it. That's nothing crazy. I have an entire year and I'm not going to make them super crazy things, but I'm not going to make them really, really attainable things that I can knock out within like the next week because that's not fair. So we're going to try to find a little bit of a middle ground. And so I kind of just want to share my goals with you, share the reason that I am even sharing this journey online because I'm sure some of you that are watching don't care. And I'm sure this is so cringy and it absolutely is. So let's start off with why I'm making this series and why I'm sharing it online. Because it definitely took a lot of thought and decision making on my end of how vulnerable I wanted it to be or how influencer-y I wanted it to be. I love the internet. I am very addicted to TikTok. Um, I follow way too many influencers that I'm just like, I would sell my soul to have your life. But I feel like, and I, I saw another TikTok that kind of made me feel a little bit more validated in this. I really feel like there's not enough like real content about people my age things that we're still struggling with, things that we wish we would have known when we were younger, and just more content catered to late 20s, early 30s. So I really just wanted to be able to share this with the people my age that feel like they're struggling and they feel like they're struggling alone because I feel that way 90% of the time. Given I have a wonderful mother who loves me so much. I have family that loves me so much. I have a wonderful, wonderful boyfriend. Um, My best friend, she's my absolute soulmate. So I know physically I'm not alone. But let's be honest, nobody, nobody talks about their struggles. Something that kind of sent me... (laughs) over the edge this time, I feel like I missed out on the handout of the handbook of life. I know everybody has struggles. I know everybody has debt. Everybody has bills that they're behind on. Everybody has things that they feel like they just shouldn't be struggling with and don't know how to get out of it. But everybody puts on this front that everything is great. And I get that because obviously I do the same thing, but I've gotten to a point where I feel like it's just built up and there's nobody out there that I feel like I can relate to when it comes to being an adult, being 20, 
nine tomorrow and still living paycheck to paycheck and working at a job that is just a dead end job. It's not a job I'm going to be at forever. I don't even know what I want to do with the rest of my life. I'm 29. And if you're my age and you're watching this, um, and I feel like, you know, the majority of the younger generation um, that is coming up can, you know, kind of also relate, but school was just pushed so hard growing up. And I'm 29, and I will not be done with my bachelor's degree until I am well past my 30th birthday. So that's that's kind of where my headspace is. I'm like, man, I wanted to uh, have my degree. I wanted to have a big girl job. I wanted to have a big girl career. I wanted to know what I was doing. And I thought I did. I thought I knew what I was doing at one point. And all of that just went downhill. And now it's four years later and I still have no idea what I'm doing. So this series, I'm hoping, is going to be vulnerable. I'm sure there's things that I am going to open up that people are going to cringe about, that people are going to be like, how have you not figured this out sooner? How have you not fixed this problem sooner? And I won't have an answer for you. And so for the younger people that decide to watch this series, one thing that I would love to do is to be able to answer questions. I just feel like there's so much that I've gone through in my life that I'm like, if somebody just would have said, hey, this isn't going to be as important as you think it's going to be when you're older, or hey, this heartbreak, you're not even going to remember who this person is in a few years. It would have made me feel less alone. And that being said, if anybody in my life is watching this series, when I say I feel alone, uh, don't take offense to that. It is just I don't see you struggling. I think you have it all together. I think you are perfect in every way, shape, or form. And I'm really glad I'm feeling okay today because I was like, I don't want my first video of the series to be crying because crying on the internet is gross. But no tears here yet. So that's kind of the reasoning behind this series. Um, I am really looking forward to creating it. Um, so for episode one, we're going to talk about goals. Now, here's the thing. We are just going to talk about these goals. And I think as time goes on, I'm going to know which goals are going to be the five that I want to reach. Um, I have probably about 15 things on my list. But if I try to do all of them, there is just no way I'm going to set myself up for success by doing that. And I at least owe it to myself to do just five things on this list. So one of the things on my list is selling one rhinestone jacket. Last year, I started an Etsy shop. Um, it was right around when Taylor announced that she was going on tour. I was like, oh my God, these will be perfect. Um, they're super cute. I'll insert a picture here. I just realized I wasn't good at sewing. So I made a few and then I stopped. But since then, um, I've made this little beanbag chair. Um, in the background. And uh, when I was working on my Ares tour outfit, um, I was sewing a lot of sequins. So I've definitely got a lot better at sewing. So I feel like I can actually make one. I don't know where I'm going to sell it. Apparently I've had too many accounts with Etsy and I can't make another account to sell on, uh, which is so embarrassing. So I just, I just want to make and sell one because they're so beautiful and I know I'm never going to wear it, but I want somebody else to wear it. Another thing on my list is going to the Taylor Swift concert with my best friend because, duh, like, like that's the end of my list. Thanks for watching the video. Um, yeah, so she's actually going to be in Indianapolis the weekend of my 30th birthday. And I am just now realizing like how that's all lining up. But we could not get into the first round of tickets. So I'm hoping once it gets closer, I am willing to make that nine hour drive. Another thing on my list is I want to find my passion this year. I think my passion genuinely is creating content. 
Um, but I haven't figured out what kind of content. I have no idea what my niche is. Um, I have no idea what I enjoy talking about and I have no idea what I like doing. So we're going to figure that out this year. Another thing I would love to do is stop living paycheck to paycheck. And I know it's crazy. Why is this on my list at 29 years old? I don't know. So I just think money would be like a good topic to talk about from somebody who's not making money from YouTube or TikTok or brand deals or anything like that. Another thing on my list is watch a football game in a stadium. I am not a sports girl. However, I feel like since I am lucky enough to live in a town um, of the Chiefs Stadium and the Royals Stadium, it's only fair that I go. Does this have to do anything with Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs and has been spotted at the Chiefs games? No, of course not. Another thing I want to do is write a book. Now that one is going to take a hot minute, but I definitely think that that's one that I want to focus on. Now, this is something that I would love to delve into in another episode, um, but I have learned that apparently I have, I forget the name of it, but it's basically like chronic daydreaming. And I know everybody daydreams for the most part, unless you don't see images in your head. I think you're lying, but okay. And literally... Every single second of every single day, there is a movie playing in my head of people I'll never meet, scenarios that will literally never happen. Sometimes they're my dream life. Sometimes they are celebrities I'm obsessed with. Sometimes it's vacation that I wish I could be on. It's anything. So I think it would be fun to turn one of those into a book. I want to get a tattoo specifically. I want to get a matching tattoo with my best friend. Um, I do not have any tattoos at all. So regardless of it is a teeny tiny little heart somewhere on my body, I want to get a tattoo before I turn 30. I also think maybe I want to get my nose pierced. Maybe. I don't know. That's not one I'm fully committed to. Next, I want to go to the beach. I have been to the beach. It has been at least 10 years since I have been to the beach, though. And I think about the beach every single day. I also want to get out of this awful apartment. Um, I am currently sitting in front of a huge mess. This is literally the only area that we have where we can like store things. We use the second bedroom. We use obviously our bedroom. There's no like coat closet or anything. So that's literally our storage area. Awful apartment has flooded so many times from our AC unit, not even from like rain. It's flooded from the rain once. The rest of the time has literally been like the apartment's fault. I also want to go axe throwing. Have never been axe throwing before. It looks so much fun. It looks very intimidating. I did, however, play it uh, at main event with a plastic like axe and I beat my boyfriend. So do I think I'll be good at it? Absolutely not. So the next two kind of go hand in hand. Um, and they're kind of things I have been working on within the last year. Um, but I'd really like to have a minimal capsule wardrobe and live in a nice, minimal, clean house. Now, just basic items that you can mix and match and wear as many times as you want to. But I just need to swap my clothes out with like staples like that. Also just like cleaning up our house and getting rid of all the clutter. Now what these last four are more personal ones. Um, they're just fun ones um, that I threw on the list, um, but they're not necessarily like a goal that I really need to cross off. Um, one of them is build a fort for a movie night. I also want to take more pictures. I am awful at capturing the moment because I have retrained myself to be more present in the moment, which I then have no memories from. The next one, I guess would kind of be done if I go to the beach. 
and I don't know if it's littering. I want to send a message in a bottle. If any of you follow me on TikTok, I have been preaching the 1989 Taylor's version sounds amazing. Anyways, I have been preaching about 1989 Taylor's version. It sounds amazing, but there's been a lot of people that say it doesn't sound as good. And it is the same thing as speak now. I'm not I'm not going to get into it here because I will get heated. It's not going to sound the exact same. That's not the point. The point is not to sound the exact same. The point is to be able to own her work and show how much she has grown as an artist. So I think it sounds amazing. But I did switch to Apple Music from Spotify uh, right before Speak Now came out, and I regret not switching sooner. I did not realize how awful things sound. No offense. Um, Apple's like music technology and streaming technology is just really cool. Look into it. I'm not going to explain it here. I did, however, explain it in a TikTok. All of my socials will be linked down below if you want to go see it. Point being, Apple Music sounds incredible. Absolutely incredible. The first song that I heard on Apple Music that made me switch to Apple Music was Message in a Bottle by Taylor Swift. And it was a life-changing moment. I have no other way to describe it than the way that song sounds on Apple Music with lossless audio and Dolby Atmos is what I want to find in an antidepressant. That's how I want my antidepressants to make me feel. If you haven't listened to it on Apple Music, I definitely recommend it. It's incredible. It feels like a movie. Anyways, that being said, um, that was just really like as dramatic as it sounds, as if this whole thing isn't dramatic. I, anytime I put that song on, let every, every ounce of anxiety and depression in my body just disappears. It, it's just, it puts me in such a different headspace. It's such a feel good song and I want to live up to this song. I want to send a message in a bottle. And lastly, this is the cheesiest one, but I also think it's the most important. I just want to learn to love myself. The amount of times that I talk down about myself and I say how much I hate myself and just how tired I am of having to exist I hate that. I hate feeling like that. And I I have tried to be nicer to myself because even though I feel like I have nothing to really like boast about or be proud about, um, not that I have regretted anything that I've done, but I regret the things that I didn't do. And with that being said, this is the journey to 30. I want to talk about real life struggles I have. I want to answer questions that, you know, younger viewers might have of things that they're going through right now. I want to find a community of my age, you know, my realm, my world of people that just feel like they can't get their life together. Because that's how I feel every day. And I don't want to feel alone in that anymore. So if you made it to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I know this was more of a rambly video. Um, my other videos, you know, will have structure for the most part. But I think I really just want to get into a place of just having a conversation and just being able to talk about struggles and wins and accomplishments and things I don't understand and really just bring to light what it's like living as a 29 year old who still lives paycheck to paycheck is working a frustrating dead end job that I know is not going to be my forever job and I don't even know what I want to do with the rest of my life. And with that being said, that is the end of today's episode.
Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any thoughts, any topics, any questions that you guys want to see in this series, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. The day that you're saying this is my birthday um, and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to put up my Christmas tree. Uh, I think I have $83 to spend at Ulta, so I'm going to go do that. And I have a free crumble cookie. And my best friend dropped off my birthday gift, and I cannot wait to wear it in a TikTok tomorrow. Tell me that's not the cutest thing. Oh, I just love it. Once again, I know I say I feel so alone. And I do not want anybody who is in my real life watching this um, thinking that I mean I am talking about them. I am very blessed to have the support group that I do. Anyways, that is the end of episode one of Journey to 30. I really hope you'll stick around um, for the rest of the episodes. So far, I have nothing planned because I don't know what's going to turn out good and I don't know what's going to turn out awful. Um, it's probably going to be like a vlog kind of like podcasty style um, with hopefully like minimal edits. I want it to feel just more, more genuine, more real, like we're on a FaceTime call talking about our problems because we all got them. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date with all of my videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.